This video uses Visual Studio Code on a Linux machine. Install Visual Studio Code in .NET Core before continuing. Open a terminal window and create a new console application by issuing this command. Open Visual Studio Code and then open the folder you created in the terminal window. Have the c -sharp extension added to Visual Studio Code. When prompted, choose Yes to add the required assets to build and debug c -sharp applications. Create a file named mercene.cs. The only namespace required is system. This is because the bit converter class is required. This constant is not required. Be careful to get these constants right. This code is available through the link in the video description. This method will be created in just a minute. Not included in this coding video is a method that accepts more than 32 bits for the seed. See the video description for a link to this code. Be careful to get these constants right. This method will be created in just a minute.
Be careful to get these constants right. Though max should never be less than men. This method will be created in just a minute. This code block is for x86 architecture. Be careful to get these constants right. This is the meat of the pseudo-random number generating algorithm. Be careful to get these constants right.
Use a globally unique identifier for the seed. LOL the C Sharp compiler added the character code value to the random number. Let's try it again with a string. Sorry for all the reminders about getting the constants right, but they are critical to the random nature of this algorithm. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more interesting and unique coding videos.